Well, good morning, everybody. This is Stephen Detweiler, and I am going to. This is. I'm not going to bring you a quote on righteousness this morning, but we're going to learn a lot about righteousness because we're going to go through the seven times Jesus shed His blood. This is the. This I have three different teachings on this, and I just wrote this one out. Um, this has been. I mean, it just came out of me this morning, and so it's going to be raw. So bear with me. But let's let's listen to what the Holy Spirit has to say. Amen. Praise God. Um, like I said, good morning. It's Friday. It's Good Friday. This is the day we honor our Lord and Savior. This for the shed blood sacrifice that He gave us. And it wasn't just on the cross. It was. It started off in the garden. And I'm going to list these out. I'm not going to be long. I'm going to go through this. I may do a longer teaching over the weekend. I'm not sure. But let's get this down so we can learn from it and honor him today. Amen? One, the garden. The power to submit and commit to our destiny. The power to submit and to commit to our destiny. Get up. Walk the paths of righteousness for his namesake. He gave us the power of the blood. This is entitled, Jesus Shed His Blood for Us. Um, let me see. Where's the title? See, I got, I got crazy notes right here. Crazy notes. Um, okay, this is just entitled, The Power of the... I have different... Like I said, this is the third teaching. The Power of the Blood. The seven times Jesus shed His blood for us. So we're talking about the power of the blood. This is what He gave us, man. Every time he shed his blood, he gave us something. He gave of himself to us. So in the garden, he gave us the power to submit and to commit to our destiny. To get up. To walk the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Or to say to walk the paths of righteousness that honor his name. The name of the king. Number two, the beard. They ripped his beard from his face. And there's a very, I did a lot of research on that. And there's very significant uh, 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 symbolism in that. For a rabbi, the beard represents maturity and wisdom. Uh, the wisdom to speak the truth of righteousness. When they ripped his beard out of his face, it was a symbol of this man speaking foolishness and lies of unrighteousness we are empowered by the blood to speak the righteous wisdom of the word of truth the word of our king it's a notebook i have to change pages yes like i said this is raw man this is raw but i put on a nice shirt for this so there there we go the flogging health and healing. This is the result. Now, this is cool, man. This is the result of commitment in speaking the word. The words of righteousness. Why? Because when you're committed and you're speaking, that has to do with your soul. Through commitment and speaking, we understand that we have a prosperous soul. Amen? Mind, will, and emotions. Your thoughts, your will, and emotions. 3 John 2 Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and indeed be in health just as your soul prospers. When you submit and commit and speak with righteous wisdom, which are the attributes of the soul, your thoughts, your will, and your emotions, your physical and mental health will prosper. Number four, the blood of the crown. The blood of the crown of the thorns gives us the position of kings and lords to rule and reign with him. Oh, and I got so much more about the crown on, on other teachings that, you, but we got to keep this in line. I mean, this, this is it, man. This is, this is the word for this. This is the word for this year. Amen. Number five, the shed blood hands of grace. 
the shed blood hands of grace. We are empowered by grace to prosper at everything we put our hands onto. Deuteronomy 8 and 12. 8 is new beginnings, 12 is kingdom. The grace to live in the new beginnings of kingdom life. Set your hands to the things that honor the king. Amen. Five minutes. We're five minutes in. And we're almost we're almost done, but it's a great revelation. I'm telling you. The blood of the feet. You have the power of his blood to walk the straight paths of righteousness, bringing the gospel of peace. Nothing missing with your relationship with Father God and nothing broken with your relationship with Father God. That is shalom peace. That is wholeness. Amen. And you have the privilege in the empowerment of his blood to walk down those straight paths with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And number seven, the blood and the water of his heart. The blood and the water of his heart. When you receive the blood of his heart, you receive the water of the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The water, the pouring out of the water is the Holy Spirit. The blood and the water. You are truly baptized in the water of his blood. Take these things with you today. Be blessed. Be changed. Walk forward. Be prosperous. And we'll see you next time. I love you. And like and share. Like and subscribe. Yes, like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Until next time. Bye-bye.